Hello everyone, most people still use ChatGPT in scattered endless chats, repeated instructions, and no real system, but ChatGPT has two features that can completely change that, custom GPTs and ChatGPT projects. In this video, I'll show you the best way to combine both so you can work faster, stay organized, and get the full benefit of each feature. To show you how this works, I'll walk through a use case where we analyze research papers and organize our research project into one clean workspace. A custom GPT will handle the repeated job of analyzing each study in a consistent format, and the project becomes the space where you store your methods, notes, outlines, and all the pieces that come together in your final work. By the end, you'll have a clear workflow that keeps everything organized and maximizes your output. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is set up the project. This becomes the central place where all your research materials live, your questions, your frameworks, your drafts, your notes, your chapter outlines, everything in one organized space. And to create one, just open projects and click new project and give it a simple name like impact of AI on job study. Inside the project, you can upload things like your research questions, your theoretical or conceptual framework, your literature review map, your methodology notes, your chapter outline, and any diagrams, tables, or any other relevant files. Once these files are added, the project becomes your research hub. ChatGPT now understands your topic, your structure, and how all the pieces fit together. Here, you can ask it to refine your chapter structure and build a literature review table, summarize papers linked to each research question, organize arguments across themes, rewrite sections in your own style, create diagrams or flows, or and highlight any gaps you still need to fill. But here's the catch. If you want to do the exact same task with the same instructions and the same output every time, for example, analyzing a research paper inside the project, you'll have to repeat the instructions every single time. You'll have to remind it of your analysis structure, your tone, your template, your expectations, and your critical depth. This is because projects work best with tasks that depend on context, not repetition. And this is exactly where custom GPTs come in. A custom GPT handles that repeated task for you. You set the tone once, you set the template once, you upload your key files once. And from that point on, every paper comes back in the exact structure you want without rewriting anything. So for our repeated task, which is analyzing papers over and over again, we'll go to the next step and create our custom GPT. So the first thing we're going to do is build a custom GPT that handles one repeated task for us, analyzing research papers. When you're working on a long academic project, this job comes up again and again, and you want every analysis to follow the same structure, the same depth, and the same standard each time. A custom GPT gives you that level of consistency without rewriting your instructions and without starting from scratch in every chat. Now let's create our own research analyst GPT. We'll start by going to GPTs, then click on explore, then select create. We're going to build a research analyst GPT that follows the exact analysis steps we need. This way, the summaries, the key points, the methods, the gaps, and any notes we rely on will always come back in one clear, consistent format. Inside the custom GPT, you can add a few important elements. We'll add the name Research Analyzer, the description, and here this is where we add in the full set of instructions that define the tone, the structure, and the exact analysis steps we want it to follow. This includes the academic style and the critical depth, the evaluation template, and how it should handle things like rigor, gaps, contribution, and relevance. We're also adding rules for missing data, guidance on how to read methods critically, and two example outputs so the model understands the standard we expect. Expect. Once all of this is pasted into the instructions box, the GPT becomes a specialized assistant that returns the same structured critical analysis every time. Now let's add the knowledge files. This is the part that gives the custom GPT context about our research. We'll upload things like our research questions, thesis outline, theoretical framework, literature map, a sample of our writing, and any feedback or definitions we want it to follow. These files help the GPT understand our topic, our structure, and the way we think. So every analysis becomes more accurate accurate, more relevant, and aligned with the rest of our work. So now our custom GPT is ready. Let's upload our first paper. And as you can see, it returns a comprehensive structured analysis with citations, an overview, methods, limitations, gaps, and relevance. The benefit here is consistency. No need to repeat your instructions or explain your style again. The limitation is that custom GPT chats sit inside your normal chat history and you can't move them into a project. 
So after we've analyzed several papers, we'll save each output as a file. Once the analysis is saved, we go to the project and upload it there. This way, every paper analysis becomes part of your organized research workspace. After your analyses are inside the project, you move to the main project chat. This is where ChatGPT uses all your files together, your research questions, your conceptual framework, your outlines, and your notes, and the growing collection of paper analyses inside the project. You can ask ChatGPT to do things like group the papers I've uploaded by theme and show the main findings for each. Summarize how the last three papers relate to research question two. Help me update my literature review structure based on my analyses so far. The project uses your saved files to help you organize your arguments and build your chapters. The custom GPT gives you consistent high quality analysis and the project keeps everything organized and helps you turn that analysis into structured writing. By separating the repeated task from the broader research workspace, you get the best of both tools. Here are a few practical tips that make the whole process smoother and help you get the most out of both tools. Tip one, keep your project focused. Use one project for one major piece of work. It keeps everything tidy and it makes it easier for ChatGPT to follow the logic of your study. Tip two, keep your knowledge files precise. Your research questions, your framework and your outline should be short and clear. ChatGPT works best when the core files are direct and easy to reference. Tip three, use the project chat for the bigger thinking. Anything to do with your literature review structure or your chapter outlines, your arguments, or your methodology should happen inside the project where all your files sit together. Tip four, refresh your project as your thinking evolves. If your framework changes or you refine your research questions, just upload the updated version the project immediately uses the newest files. Tip five, save long outputs as files. If ChatGPT writes a section you want to keep, save it as a file rather than leaving it inside a long chat thread. These small habits make the workflow much easier to maintain and they help ChatGPT give you clearer, stronger and more organized support. So that's the full workflow, a custom GPT for any repeated task you want done in a consistent way and a project to organize everything else around your research. So make sure you subscribe for more useful workflows and see you in the next one.